Hey yo, YouTube, what's up? This is your boy Roller in 18. Don't mind my dirty trailer. I gotta uh, clean this up. But I just figured, since I'm back here, something to show you guys for in the morning. Uh, well, hell, you know what? I'll show you guys that later on. Let me show y'all this here right now. This here, my friends, is my new best friend. This thing right here is pretty heavy. I ain't gonna lie, it probably adds about, I don't know, maybe 100, 200 pounds to the trailer. But I'll take that. But I put, oops, excuse me, my little contraption here fell. But I'll take that extra weight over the fear of that coil rolling at me. Be, cause I mean, as long as you keep this right up on that coil, that coil ain't gonna move. Look at that. That coil is not gonna move. I got 20,000 pounds holding it. 10 holding it down and 10 kind of back toward the coil. So that way, just in case, it, it just breaks through that. But I mean, it really doesn't have any way to break through that because it's not gonna pick up no momentum. The last guy, he had it about right around in here, which, I mean, it's not bad, but that's lazy because he kept it there cause, so you won't have to move it or nothing because if I pick up three coils, like three small ones, then I'm gonna have to move this one right back to where it was because, uh, heck, I mean, this is basically center on my trailer. When I pick up three coils, I'm gonna keep, keep the middle one right here, my heavy one. And then I'm going to put the second heaviest one directly behind it. And, and then the light one straight in front of it. But anyway. This is what this looks like. Just in case you want to build one. For yourself. Because that's what TLX did. It says TLX on it. Right there. But that's what they did. They built this. Out of some pretty solid steel. Right here. I want to say this is all a. Well, heck, I don't know. It doesn't sound like solid. As you can see, you can see straight down through there. But it's still pretty strong. I mean, it's better than having that rack right there and the one on the back. Because it's not really going to do much. But, uh, this is my new best friend. I keep that one like that to hold it back and snug up on the coil. But it's not super tight to where like it's gonna be rubbing. That's why I put this mat in here because I don't want it to rub. But this coil had damage on it right there. That's like the first five layers. So I didn't put any edge protectors on because they're not gonna be able to use that anyway. And I took pictures of it and all that before I left. You see how it's damaged, like that's pushed out. And there's some first five layers is jacked up. So I figured what the heck? I ain't put no edge protectors on there. But this thing, you could put a strap on here. And I'm guessing you could shoot the strap. Yo, I just heard the weirdest sound on top of my trailer. Sound like somebody was standing up there peeing. I don't know. But, uh, heck, I forgot what I was saying, man. Man, like, I'm guessing you could throw a strap up over top of it and sink like tighten it down or uh heck i really don't know because my trailer doesn't have the clamp the uh the uh, like j-hook channel that uh runs down the uh, center because like i know mac trailers they have a j-hook that runs down the center but mine doesn't have that so what i'd have to do is i'd have to throw a uh strap over so strap over the top and then come back here and run a chain across and tighten the chain down as tight as I can get it and then put the strap under there and then it'll hold it down. That's the only thing I'm thinking could work. But all right, y'all, I just wanted to make that short video showing y'all my new best friend up there. Well, heck, I'm not gonna climb all the way back up there. But then I got a 42,000 pound coil. 
and uh, my load is uh, well, heck, I forget what I was saying. I keep I don't know why I keep doing that, but I got a uh, 42,000 pound coil and I got six chains going in and six binders. Well, technically, technically, it's three chains because this and this is one chain, the middle one and that one is one chain and then so on and so on but you got six binders on this side just as long as you could do it and have this free chain between each one droop down like that then that's okay but all right y'all let me tighten these back down and hit the road i'm southbound and down going to uh mississippi take care